After thousands of years in exile, these biblical sheep have made their return to the Holy Land. On the span of 11 flights, 119 Jacob's sheep immigrated to Israel from Canada. But first, their caretaker, Jenna Lewinsky, had to petition the Israeli government. Current agriculture laws do not allow livestock to be transported from Canada to Israel. Eventually, the sheep were granted visas under the Law of Return, a provision that grants Israeli citizenship to Jews in the diaspora. It was the largest animal airlift ever out of Canada to Israel, and also the first time that an animal actually has the right of return to make Aliyah. And it was just a miracle. As every flight landed, I was just in awe that God could care so much about a flock of sheep. Just think how much he cares about his people. So how did these sheep prove their Jewish heritage? In the book of Genesis, Jacob asked his father-in-law Laban for all the spotted sheep as his wages. According to Jenna, since Jacob is a patriarch of the Israelites, his sheep are of Jewish descent. The Jacob sheep, especially our flock, have the spots, they have the speckles, they have a, a DNA R2 genotype as well that linked them back to the Levant region. And this is why we know the Jacob sheep. Throughout the sheep's journey to the Holy Land, many people say the small animals bring out a lot of emotion. Jenna says it's likely because they remind the Jewish people of their exile and return to home. <laughs> The flock currently lives in a temporary barn, but soon the Jacob sheep are planned to permanently relocate to a site that will become a tourist center, where visitors can learn about their remarkable and spiritual journey. Yeah.